In this first video, we will be learning the basics of an Oculus Quest 2. So let's start with the unboxing. Make sure you charge your headset fully before your first use. The charger is a USB-C power adapter that connects to the left side of your headset. Next, we'll put batteries in the controllers. You can use disposable or rechargeable AA batteries. Once your Quest is set up, you'll be able to view battery percentage for your controller and your headset. Hold your controller upside down and with your thumb slide the eject button up and you'll see the battery compartment. Each controller requires one battery each. Once your batteries are set and your headset's charged, you're ready to use your Quest for the first time. As soon as your headset starts, you're going to feel the vibration on your controller knowing that the batteries are in and they are on. So the very first thing that is going to pop up will be your Guardian screen. I'm going to manually bring up my Guardian screen so that way there's a reference to what I'm talking about. As soon as you sign on, it's going to give you the option to create a stationary boundary or a room scale boundary. Stationary just means that you'll be sitting in place, like sitting down on a chair, at a desk, staying in one area. Room scale means that there's a chance that you could move around anything that has bigger movement, more movement, so it makes sure that you don't run into walls or accidentally knock anything over. Stationary is a good one to start with, but room scale is also good if you just want to get the full experience head on. Before we go over anything, let's go over some controller usage. Both controllers are very similar in function and how they look. If you look on the back of them, they have a trigger button on the very top that you use your index finger for. In the middle, there's a trigger button that you use your middle finger for. This right one has A and B buttons, and it also has a thumb pad. Your left hand has X and Y buttons, and it also has a thumb pad. Both of them have flat buttons. This is your Oculus Start button, and this is your Menu button for any apps or programs that you might use. When you point one, you'll see that the actual lines for where you're going to be pointing is going to show up. This is exactly like the mouse trail on a computer. Whenever you want to select something, you get your controller pointed at the object. We're just going to click this for now, for example. We're going to point it at it, and then we're going to click the top trigger button. Point and click, and it'll open it. So you just point and click to close. And that goes with anything. So just get in the habit of point and click and it's the top trigger always. Also, you can use your left or your right controller to point and click and select whatever it is that you need. The right hand is the one that is set up for main use on the Oculus, but you can always go into the menu and switch it so that your left hand is the main one. It just depends on what you like and your preference. Now we're going to talk about the Guardians. So now that you know the basics of the controllers and how to point and click to access something, you're going to either point at stationary or room scale. Let me just do this for reference so that way you can see it. When you click room scale, you can't see it, but it shows you right here an example. On your actual Oculus, you'll be able to see through your Oculus, your actual environment of the room you're in, and you'll be able to see these actual purple crosses on the floor. You get your left controller and you just put it to the ground exactly like it's showing you and you click confirm. Because I am sitting down, it's saying you're in a stationary position, which means I'm not going to move very much. So it's saying I should switch to stationary. That's the one I usually use. When you're in stationary, it gives you a circle that goes around you, so that way it won't be moving around. When you go out of your boundary, 
you'll see straight through your oculus and you'll see the room that you're actually in so now that my garden is set we're going to go over the taskbar and the different features once you actually sign into your oculus so the very first thing we need to know is how to bring up our menu our taskbar just like a computer it's the bar at the very bottom where you, it has a start button everything on it our taskbar menu is our start menu where we can access programs games basically anything that we need for the functioning of our headset in order to access it you get your right controller your oculus button is the flat button right beneath the thumb pad you're going to click that flat button once when you do you're going to see your taskbar popped up beneath your taskbar there's a white line right here you're going to get your controller and you're going to point the line the pointer to that white line down there you're going to see the dot show up knowing you can click it you're going to use your trigger to click it and you can move your taskbar to put it in a more comfortable position for you but you just click and you move and you can do this with any screen that has one of these lines underneath to find your pairing code you're going to get your right controller and click the flat oculus button on the controller it's not the a or b button it's the flat button you're going to click it that brings up your taskbar menu you're going to click your quick settings on the very top right here's your main settings to your entire oculus you're going to click that then you're going to scroll down to the bottom you just hover your controller over the area and you can use your thumbstick to move it up and down to scroll or you click on a blank area and pull up or down when you click the trigger button you'll see it turn blue when it's being used so you go down to the about area and right here it's going to say pairing code that's where your pairing code is going to be for your oculus this is the code that you put into your phone on your actual oculus app